Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Welcome to 626 Mission Bay Boulevard North. It is such a pleasure and honor and a joy to be a part of this celebration. And when we do these grand openings, they are celebrations and they are also acknowledgments because no one, no one person, no one institution can create the kind of affordable housing that we see here. And so I wanna begin by asking Mayor Breed, thanking you for your support and to share a few words. Really? Yep. <laughs> That's it. All right. <laughs> wow. Thank you all so much for being here today. And I'm really excited about this project, um, especially because I used to serve on the San Francisco Redevelopment Agency Commission. And I remember when Mission Bay was just taking shape in San Francisco and the conversations around the housing that we know would be built here. We fought really hard and because of that fight, 30% of all the new housing will go to uh, support families that are low and middle income residents, which brings us here today. 143 units of family housing and senior housing for people who, in some cases, were displaced long ago. I grew up in the Western Edition community, and there were a lot of mistakes made in that community as it relates to redevelopment. Homes were torn down, promises were made, certificates were given, and no housing was provided for those people and those families. And in these 143 units of affordable housing, we have 10 certificate of preference holders, which is absolutely amazing. And when I served on the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, I was really excited uh, to help pass legislation to address what we know was a real problem around uh, displacement of residents through either uh, owner move-in evictions, Ellis Act evictions, and sadly, sometimes in the cases of fire. And because of that anti-displacement legislation, we have residents who are actually live here, who fit the bill, who fit the qualifications, and now have a safe, affordable, clean, nice, beautiful new place to call home. That's, <laughs> providing affordable housing is just not about providing a place for people to stay. It's about building a community. It's about supporting a community and making sure that there are incredible services that provide resources to the community. So I'm really excited about 826 Valencia, which will be joining the ground floor here on this property to support young people in this community. This is absolutely amazing. And I never get tired of coming to events where we are celebrating housing for families, housing for seniors, housing for people who need it the most. But what's even more exciting, if that wasn't exciting enough, is the fact that this property, unlike so many properties that we see being developed in San Francisco, has two and three bedroom apartments. And I know that that was such, I, I read the stories from so many of the residents who talked about their challenges and their experiences and their needs in terms of the displacement, but also their needs to make sure that they have housing and enough room for their families. And so that's why this project is so exciting. This is really an example of what we need to do to provide affordable housing to families and folks from low and middle income in San Francisco all over this city. So I am just here to celebrate with all of you and to um, I guess people have already moved in, so we'll do a ribbon cutting anyway, because why not celebrate such an incredible milestone? Uh, because it means a better life, a better future for so many families. It means an opportunity to be a part of this amazing new community with UCSF and Chase Center and the T3 line and T3rd, what do they call it now? The T3rd and all of the great amenities that exist right here in Mission Bay. So thank you so much to Don Falk and TNDC for all the work that you all continue to do to not just be a nonprofit developer, but be a community builder. 
a community builder that sustains communities for years to come. And thank you all so much for being here to celebrate this incredible milestone. The architects, the developers, the engineers, all of the people who put their blood, sweat, and tears and love into making this place a place that people could be proud of, a place that people can call home. Thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you so much, Mayor Breed. You honor us with your words. Please welcome one of the community residents here, Jesus. I hope you guys can hear me fine. Um, I want to share a story that has helped me forward, move forward. At the 400 meters race in the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona, a young man was favored to win the race and the gold medal. However, at around 250, 250 meters in the, into the race, his hand spring tore. He limped to a halt and then fell to the ground in intense pain. While the medics make their way over to him, he knew he had to decide if he will finish the race in, in tears and pain or just stay down and give up the race he had trained so hard to win. So despite the pain, he stood up and began to limp along their track. Even though the pain was unbearable, he finished the race. His name is Derek Redmond. This is a story that has inspired me through my darkest moments. Let me share with you a bit about how my journey began. My name is Jesus Davila, and I'm a Mexican immigrant. I left my home in Mexico in April of 1992 to come to America and seeking for better life. I came empty-handed with only the clothes on my back and with many dreams. However, in May of 1992, my life changed in a split of a second. I was hit by a train while on my way to, to Seattle, Washington to work in the fish industry. I was, it was around midnight, so they didn't find me until the next morning around 7 a.m. They took me to Highland Hospital in Oakland, where they told me I would never be able to work again, that I was going to be paralyzed. I spent two years recovering at Highland and at another skilled nursing facility, not knowing what was in store for me in the future. Once I was discharged, my eyes were open to my new reality. I realized I was homeless, no skills or ability to work because of my disability. I was all by myself, no family or friends. Eventually, I was connected with the Shelter Plus Care program that generously helped me get a stable SRO housing unit. My mental health condition, however, didn't get better. I was living by myself and feeling isolated, depressed, and hopeless. I also turned to the wrong people for support I ended up using alcohols and drugs to cope with my depression throughout my life, throughout my time living alone. Fortunately, with the advocacy of my social worker at Shelter Plus Care Program, Salvador Lopez, I was referred to 626 Mission Bay Housing and this great organization, TNDC. Here, I am blessed to have a two-bedroom apartment to share with my mom and dad, which allows me to have a family support system that I needed to be able to focus on my goals and recovery. My social worker, Ms. Kiki Bo, has also been tremendously supportive in helping me to turn my life around. She has helped me realize that it's never too late to obtain an education and be a productive member of the society. Now I'm beginning to dream again. Currently, I have returned to community college and take classes in hope of one day becoming an architect my hope is to build shelters and permanent housing for homeless children in my hometown of Chihuahua and for those facing homelessness in the city of San Francisco. Because of the support and safe housing, I'm able to focus on giving back to, the, to this beautiful city that has given me a lot. My current goal is to volunteer at the local UCSF Children's Hospital and at 826 Valencia next door. I want to thank TNDC, 
Shelter Plus Care, my church and pastor, my social worker, my parents and my whole family for always believing in me, even through my darkest episode of life. Remember, when the darkest hour comes to you, it is because the bright light of a new dawn is approaching. When the storm is hitting the hardest, it's because the calm is approaching. Don't give up. Finish your race. Thank you so much, Jesus. Every person in this, in this room is here because of you and people like you. Thank you. Please uh, join me in welcoming Supervisor Matt Haney. Um, well, first of all, um, thank you, Jesus, for those, those powerful words. And thank you to all the residents and all the staff who are really already making this such a, a tremendous place for residents. Um, I want to give a huge thanks to TNDC and to Don Falk. Um, I've been supervisor for just about five months, and I've been to two ribbon cuttings now, and both have been TNDC ribbon cuttings. <laughs> and not only that, but uh, both have not been in the Tenderloin. <laughs> so I also represent the Tenderloin. We had one in South of Market and one here in Mission Bay. And I think that just demonstrates uh, how critical and important of a housing developer you are, not just in District 6, not just in the Tenderloin, but throughout our entire city. Um, and thank you so much, Mayor Breed, for, for your leadership. I know you're working so hard to make sure that we have affordable housing, and especially affordable housing for families. Um, I had the opportunity to serve uh, on the Board of Education for six years. And the thing that I heard more than anything when I visited our schools is that our families and our kids are struggling from housing instability. Um, if you don't have a, a, sa a safe and stable place to live, it's going to be hard for a young person to achieve in school, uh, to be well socially and emotionally. Um, and so investing in housing, especially for families, is one of the most important things that we can do for the future of our city. Um, I'm so excited that the Mission Bay community is going to be a place that has a balance of affordability. Um, we have made a lot of mistakes in the past when it comes to housing and displacement. But when you build a new community like we have here in Mission Bay, we have the opportunity to actually get it right. Um, so thank you to OCII. Thank you to everybody who has made sure that we have affordability in Mission Bay and that Mission Bay is being built for families. Um, 826 Valencia right here is going to be such a hugely important thing to make sure that families can thrive here in, in Mission Bay. And the last thing I want to say is not only do we have 826 Valencia here in this building, we are going to have a school right across the street. Um, and it was one of the last th things that I was, yeah, you can clap for a new school. Um, um, this, will, this will be the very first uh, public school in, built in San Francisco in about 20 years. And it's going to be right here in this community. You'll be able to see it. It's in that parking lot right on, on the other side of the field. They've already gone out for design and, and architects and all that. So it is happening. The funding is there. Um, so I can't wait to see when I, when, when I come down here, when that school is built, and we see kids who can walk directly across the street uh, from this building uh, to their school here right in Mission Bay, a, a wonderful, beautiful building in a community that is going to be such a, a fantastic place for, for families and also for all of the residents uh, who get to call this place home. Thank you to everybody who made it possible. Thank you so much, Supervisor Haney, for all your support of this work. Uh, Wells Fargo played a crucial role in the development here. Please welcome Jeff Bennett. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. We're uh, thrilled to be part of this wonderful project. Um, uh, congratulations to TNDC and the city and for all those who worked on this project. Um, uh, I was kind of in the trenches on a lot of the details for the loans, and I know it was not an easy task. We, uh, we uh, spent a lot of hours on a lot of conference calls and worked through some challenging issues. Uh, I'm looking at Colleen here, who did a lot of the work on that and did a terrific job. Um, Woohoo, yeah. Uh, <laughs> We've, uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, 
we've had a great relationship with TNDC for, I think, about 25 years now and done some amazing things together. And, and we always love working on TNDC projects, so thanks, Don, for having us on this one. Um, just a couple of words on what we provided. Uh, we are the uh, construction lender. Um, we're also the uh, low-income housing tax credit investor, and uh, that means we'll be a limited partner for 15 years on the project, and we provided all the equity on the project. Uh, affordable housing is a big deal at Wells Fargo. It has been for decades. And um, we take it very seriously. It's a very big commitment. Uh, I work in a group that does nothing but affordable housing every day of the week. And um, we're putting up some big numbers. I know we should be putting up bigger numbers. But um, just to give you a sense, um, over the last three years, we've uh, provided a billion dollars to affordable housing in the Bay Area. That covered about 42 developments. Uh, we're financing six new projects here in the city right now. Uh, about 400 million towards those. And we're looking at new ones every day. We just got a new one from Don yesterday. So um, we're hoping to do a lot more with TNDC, a lot more in the city. Um, there was a new announcement that our foundation is actually um, increasing its commitment to affordable housing. A uh, billion dollars has been committed through 2025 for grants, uh, which is a big deal. So um, we're very happy to see that. And yes. <laughs> and. Um, you know, we're just thrilled to be involved in big projects like this. Uh, on a personal note, I've been a longtime San Francisco resident. I've uh, lived here for over 40 years, and I'm a homeowner here. And um, it's just extra special to attend events like this in my backyard. So we really appreciate uh, the opportunity, and we look forward to being at a lot more events like this. So thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Stephanie, please. Come up. Um, in 2010, uh, I moved here to um, reunite with my family, and immediately I was struck by the level of homelessness in the Bay Area. Uh, in 2016, a series of unfortunate events um, involving family and friends and a former employer uh, left me and my family scrambling for help. Uh, through a patchwork of shelters and social services from as far as Milpitas to Richmond, uh, I was introduced to TNDC. And from that moment, uh, my life changed drastically. Um, our journey from being homeless uh, to being housed was over. And uh, having a place has given my son uh, security and stability uh, to perform well in school and consistency for me to complete my degree. Uh, 626 Mission Bay is more than just an apartment building. Uh, for us, it's a launch pad to become positive, productive members of society. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Stephanie. You are one of the people who gives meaning to the work. We really appreciate you. I hope you will join me in welcoming Colleen Ma, who was a project manager for 626 Mission Bay Boulevard. I'll try to keep this one kind of short. Um, this beautiful building was made possible by all of our amazing partners, from our partners at OCII, HCD, Wells Fargo, CCRC, and the Federal Home Loan Bank, to our architects Mathoon and Studio Vara, and our general contractor Nibby Brothers. It's been years in the making to get to finally celebrate the completion of this building. It's pretty wild, but I hope you get to look at the acknowledgement list in front of you, but it barely scratches the surface of the many people, city staff, TNGC staff, engineers, tradesmen and women, and more, who have worked to make this project a reality. And now that the building is complete, I've had the honor of watching my peers, our site staff, work their magic. Marielle and Tino, who are either hiding in this crowd or hiding in their offices, have put in countless late nights and weekends to get this building fully leased in barely 90 days. And they, yeah. And they continue to put in the time to keep it running smoothly. Clifton, Jonathan, Jesse, and Terry have run miles in this half city block of a building <laughs> to make sure that this building functions properly. Kiki and Natalia meet the tenants where they're at while providing so many resources and referrals. <laughs> Thank you. 
For some of these tenants, this is their very first home, and being presented with such a new space in such a new neighborhood like Mission Bay can be both isolating and terrifying. Our site staff have done an amazing job welcoming the tenants to this space and to this neighborhood. There are around 150 children in this building and growing. Um, right around move-in time last year, at least one small child, maybe three feet tall, was running around dragging their hot Cheetos covered fingers along our brand new white walls. <laughs> um, I immediately worried about cleaning it up, the tours were coming through, but the reality of finally having families and children in the building hit me. This was no longer just a construction project, this was becoming a home. The partnerships that built this building and now operate this building have transformed it into 143 new homes for families and future generations of San Franciscans. It's been an honor to be a part of it. Thank you, Colleen. Uh, so there are just a couple things I want to say in closing. Uh, first, I, I think Bita is here. Bita, are you here anywhere? Thank you. Can you kind of just raise your hands high? So we are so proud and grateful for our relationship with 826 Valencia, which really began with your entry into the Tenderloin. And we're just so proud that you decided to come and join us here in Mission Bay. And we have an after-school program, and we have been working closely with 826V, that's what we can call it, for a long time. And we just really appreciate you. Thank you, Bita. <laughs> the feeling is mutual. And um, the other thing I want to convey is just really simple. I feel like we as an organization are very privileged to be in the center of this kind of work. But we are not heroes. We are only here because of all the work that everybody does. And we are, if anything, we're a grateful organization. So thank you to all the people, all the institutions, the staff, the, the residents, everybody who makes this happen, we appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs>